It's finally here. Look what I got, my first GW package just arrived. Before we start unpacking, I wanted to thank everyone for 10,000 subs on YouTube. Thank you all so much for your support and for watching uh, my videos and for subscribing to my channels, for commenting. Thank you all so much. You might be wondering why I'm shooting this outside. Well, it's because I feel like this is probably the last time I will be touching grass in a long while because after we unleash this, there is no going back. I feel like I'm going to be spending a lot of time inside. They do call it plastic crack for a reason. Special thanks to Datak and Slavos for gifting me the contents of this package. So let's get into it. I already opened this up because I wanted to make sure that this was my package and not the other person's package that I told you on Discord about. So it is my package. I'm not seeing packaging like this. They really thoroughly packed in. I can already see the inside. Look at this. Look at this. Big. It's big. Oh my, it's thick. Chunky boy. That's what she said. <laughs> Eisenhorn. <laughs> Thank you so much, Slavos, for gifting this to me. A lot of you in the comments and on my Discord said that this book is uh, one of the most beginner friendly books and is also a very interesting one. Plus, I'm very curious about the Inquisition and its characters. So I feel like this would be a perfect read for me. I already ordered more books <laughs> also the ones that you recommended to me in the comments uh which are more or less the same that what Ricky recommended at the end of his uh 40k timeline video so i think i can't remember i think at least three more books are coming so i'm going to show those to you soon as well also i heard that henry cavill wants to play eisenhorn in his upcoming movie or show so that also got me curious in the grim far future, the Inquisition moves amongst mankind like an avenging shadow, striking down demons, aliens, and heretics with uncompromising ruthlessness. Written by Gon's ghost creator Dan Abnett, this volume charts the career of Inquisitor Gregor Eisenhorn as he changes from being a zealous upholder of the truth to collaborating with the very powers he once wore to destroy what what a plot twist okay okay I, like i didn't know i didn't know anything this was completely blind purchase i'm get, I, why am i getting goosebumps already this is so interesting <laughs> fire detective story part interplanetary epic this omnibus brings together the novels xenos malleus heretics and the magos as well as four short stories abdits punchy pacey style fits perfectly as effects Okay, so this book combines all the um, all the Eisenhorn Eisenhorn books in one plus extra stories. All right, I am so excited! I want to read it. Start reading it already. I haven't bought a book for myself in decades. I had a content idea of maybe as I read the book, I could record videos um, and put my opinions and thoughts about each chapter or a few chapters that I read and put it out to YouTube. Would that be something um, interesting for you? Let me know in the comments. And the jewel of this crowd. Oh my God. A kill team box it is heavy it is big I did not realize it would be so huge that's what she said <laughs> it's got a hole in there I don't care I don't care this is so exciting okay so a lot of you uh, have recommended this set uh, as a beginner set, as a starter set for somebody who is completely unfamiliar with the tabletop aspect of Warhammer 40k. And so I I just I just found it and put on put it on my throne wish list and uh, literally the next day Datak bought it for me and I am so grateful. This is big. This is to me this is huge. Thank you so much again. 
I'm very excited to open this up because I have no idea what's inside. Let's maybe read some descriptions and see see what it is. From what I understand, and I watched the Kill Team um, cinematic on YouTube. You can check out my reaction if you haven't seen it. It's about Death Corps of Creek and the orcs fighting each other, basically. Here we go. We have the Death Corps of Creek veteran guardsmen here and or commandos on the bottom. There's a squig and a grot. Grot. Oh, grot. The small, the small boys that are not orcs are kind of like goblin-like species. All right. And here, the death corpse of Creek. They have a oh, a medic veteran and a med kit. I was wondering what this is. It's a med kit. Okay. To me, both of these factions are very likable, and uh, I. Don't know which one I'm going to play as. I like them both. I guess let's see when I uh, assemble them and paint them, uh, which miniatures I will like the most. But I listened to Bricky's Adeptus Ridiculous um, episode on Death Corpse of Krieg. <laughs> These guys are badass, okay? These guys are cool. And the orcs, everybody loves the orcs. They're like, I don't know a single person who wouldn't like the orcs, so. Uh, this is a great set. Those two squads are, you know, a great uh, beginner. Many armies. Uh, I don't, I don't know how how big is an army. Okay, so it says for two players, play time approximately thirty to sixty minutes per session. Oh, I see now why it's beginner friendly. Yeah, this is not a long, this is not a long game, so this would be perfect for me. Age is twelve plus. Cool. I can play with a child. Just need to find a child. Playing with adults is so uh, anxiety inducing. <laughs> okay, so this box contains Kill Team Recruit Rulebook. A 96 page rulebook. Ooh. I wonder what the rule books have. Does it have like lore in it or it's just, you know, how to assemble the miniatures, like the instruction? I don't know. We're going to see. Uh, kill team token sheet, uh, the dice, 10 six-sided dice, three combat gauges, transfer sheets for death corps of Kree and orc commandos. There's a dog barking. The dog is cheering for the orcs, probably. Okay, now it's stopped. We can continue. Kill zone, uh, Octarius. The playing mat, six barricades, orc scrap piles terrain. And 22 Citadel miniatures, veteran guardsmen, uh, kill team, 10 models, and 10 models of uh, orcs, and a bomb squig and commander grot, the small boys. And uh, this is how the, the, the battlefield looks like. I'm not sure if the paint is included in here, it seems like it's not, so. I will need to make a trip to the store to buy some paint and brushes and the uh, must-have tools for a new miniature painter. If you guys have any recommendations uh, what tools I need, what kind of paints I need, please let me know. I'm going to watch uh, some YouTube videos on painting before I start, but I also like to listen to the community and their advice, so I would appreciate that. I think I'm gonna do well because I already know the most important rule of miniature painting is thin your paints so that they don't end up like this. So I think I got this. I can't wait to open this up. So without further ado, let's go inside and see what's inside. No nope, pun intended. Here we are. I'm back to my apartment. I just wanted to show the book once more. We have Ascension, A Vengeance Sun, and other ones that I cannot see the names. Yeah, feels nice. The font is kind of small, <laughs> like reminds me of a Bible or something, I don't know if that's going to be a pain to read. But I guess for them to fit all of the Eisenhorn books and the stories, they had to make it like that. Otherwise, the book would have just been Three times as big. Ooh, what's this? Want to know more about Warhammer 40k? Yes, I do. Can you give me a free miniature, please? Thank you very much. <laughs> Definitely reading it. 
tonight. And now to the game itself. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I have never had a held a Warhammer 40k uh, game in my hands. Let's take a look at the, um, at the image here. So I see some orcs fighting the death corpse of Krieg. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty cool art. Now let's check out the back. Okay, look at that. Look at that. I, I guess this is not the biggest battlefield, but you know, it's enough for me because I will need to paint all of these. Um, so we got a demolition veteran, trooper, veteran. Okay, those are all veterans. Demolition, trooper, zealot, bruiser, hardened veteran, surgeon veteran, trooper, comms, trooper, another trooper, and a medic with a um, medkit. Uh, on the bottom, we got the orc boys. Ooh, look at this dual wielding guy. That's pretty cool. A bomb squeak. <laughs> I love it. The grot. Uh, he has a like a he has a grappling hook gun. I guess they use him to infiltrate the enemy or something. The comms boar. I like the boar. Boy. <laughs> the comms boy. The sniper. Sniper boy. A commando knob. Ooh, that's a big one. Okay. That's the, the main character here. <laughs> the breacher boy. Daka boy. Ooh, Daka. Daka is the um, minigun, right? Daka, Daka, Daka. Okay, okay. The Daka boy. Uh, another commando boy. Okay, they're like all different. Okay, these are kind of... No, 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 no. They're all different. They're all different. Commander Rocket, Rocket, like <laughs> the Rocket, Rocket Boy, and the Burner Boy. Ooh, this comes with a burner. I love this. Uh, okay, let's open it. Ooh. Okay. Don't screw it up. Oh, wow. Ugh. Okay, nothing inside. Ooh, we got everything out. Oh my god, are you supposed to cut every single one? Hey, I thought, oh my god, I thought this was a starter set. Look, I thought those would come, you know, more assembled. <laughs> but no, we got arms, we got legs and torsos and everything separately. Oh my god, how am I supposed to do this? But look at the detail. Look at the level of the. This is so cool. I've never seen anything like this. Watch. Watch. Okay, these are the Death Corps of Krieg. I think. No, 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 no. Like, look at this muscular, super muscular arm. This is not it. Okay, when they're not in color, I cannot really tell them apart, but okay. Bunch of, um, okay, yeah, yeah. These are, oh, I can, you can t see, you can tell. These are way smaller. This is for smaller boys. Those were big boys. This is a small boys. Look at those tiny arms and tiny, uh, tiny weapons. Itsy bitsy. Okay, these are the humans, death corpse, the creed. Yeah, I guess each of these squares is one one character. Like, oh, 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 oh my God! Uh, oh, this is ah, this is for the um for the battlefield. I don't know what those are called. I'm sorry. The the um, there's a name for it. I guess these are the scraps and barricades. I think for the for the game mat playing map mat mat. Uh. <laughs> Wait, how do you paint those? This is crazy. Oh, I gotta paint the minis first, the, the characters. I feel like I will like painting the characters more than the environment, but... Look at the detail. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, alright. So, okay, another one, uh, more, uh, Death Corpse of Freak. All right, what? What? What is that? <laughs> Why does it have a 
a hole in it! <laughs> there are more holes. <laughs> Is this on purpose? <laughs> like it's like a bullet hole or something <laughs> to add to the... Like This was in the middle uh, of the box. Underneath all of this, there's no way this happened during transportation. Oh my god, I found a squig. Look at him. This cute, cute little boy. Okay, so we got a poster with a bullet hole in it. Amazing. Um, oh, these are the... Mm, that's there. There's like the bases, right? The bases to put uh, your miniatures on. There has to be 20. I guess bigger bases for the orc boys and smaller bases for the um, death corpse of creek boys. We got the dice. I'm going to open it. The dice feel matte. Yeah, the film's nice. A nice, nice plastic. I like it. Mm -hmm. Oh, this must be the rule book. Mm. I don't have a knife, so I'm doing it carefully with the scissors. Oh wait, this is not the rule book. This is a instruction on how to assemble them. Ooh, what are these? Okay. I have no idea what this is. There's like health. Um, I don't know. <laughs> health. <laughs> That's all I can. <laughs> That's all I can identify. Mm, yeah, okay. We'll need to read the rules to understand what this is. Okay. Skirmish combat in the 41st millennium. Recruit edition. Starter set. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, these are the instructions. Oof, I have to go through all of this on my own time. Oh, look at that. This is pretty detailed. I feel like it's not gonna be that difficult to assemble, <laughs> but we'll see. It looks easy on the paper. Okay. Oof, so many details. So many, okay, these are the orcs. Uh, uh, orcs are gonna be easier to assemble because they're bigger. I think I'm gonna start with orcs. Okay, and this, yeah, whatever this is. Damn, this needs to be painted too. Okay. All right. So. Oh no! Oh, okay, okay, okay. And this is the actual rule book. Look at this. No. Or right, this is the rule book. Core rules. Recruit edition. I don't know. <laughs> let's, go, let's take a look at this one first. Recruit edition. Kill team puts you in control of an elite uh, squad of operatives known as kill team on daring missions in the grim darkness of the far future. Your warriors will engage the enemy in a tense back and forth for a fight while attempting to complete vital objectives to secure victory. This book will walk you through all you need to know in order to take your first steps into the kill zone and begin operations with your kill team. Once you've assembled your miniatures gathered together um, your tools of war and found a willing opponent to play with, <laughs> with and you're ready to begin. Okay. Able and willing opponent to play with. This is gonna be, this is not gonna be easy. Oh, this is cool. Welcome to the kill zone. Um, if you guys want me to go over, um, every single page this book in details let me know maybe i could uh, uh record uh, a video so there were some orcs so yeah, i guess i need to read everything before starting the game <laughs> looks so cool i really want to start with orcs okay the death corpse of krieg Tools of war. Ah, those are the, the those are the gauges. I was wondering what that is. Kill zone data cards. Um, okay. No, those are the tokens. 
these thingies. I wonder if this game is uh, much different from any other uh, 40k games. Kill uh, the kill team. Or they all work more or less the same way. Setup, objective, activations, and actions. This is pretty detailed. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta do a lot of stuff to prepare for the game. You have to paint the minis, you have to read a whole ass book. Wait. Okay, let's take a look at the art. Not the art, it's the pictures, kill zones. But this is how it's gonna look like? Mm, no, I don't think I have um, all of that. I would have to buy um, additional, you know, what are, what are those? those called okay yeah these are <laughs> these are actual pictures oh this is cool Wait. this looks great aha uh -huh. okay these are the stats of each each character gotcha their weapons their skills, their stats, actions, and all of that. Demolition veteran. Alright, for the shovel boys and for the orcs as well. Commando slash a boy. <laughs> boy. All the boys. Okay. Oh, these are like, uh, tr uh, what do they call it? Uh, transferring sheets? Kind of like, um, you know, the temporary tattoos. But for the minis, I guess. Okay, these are for the, these are for the Death Corps of Krieg. I don't know if you can see the white ones. And these are for the Org boys. That's cool. Yeah, I guess for the Krieg, uh, you have to, you know, uh, Cut it out, wet it with water, put it on a mini and like wipe it with a dry cloth or something so that it sticks. No idea. But for the orcs, I think you gotta, um, you gotta lick it. You gotta put it on your tongue and soak it real well <laughs> with, your, with your saliva and then you slap it on the orc and then you press it onto them with your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way that's the way to do these for the orcs okay that's pretty cool oh another book oh no oh no war rules tools of war data cards another another rule book oh my god how what What's the difference? Control the kin's kill zone. Matched play. Oh, so there can be more uh, factions, more armies to play the the kill zone. I guess. I guess the death uh, corpse of Krieg and orcs is just one of the kill team uh, game sets. Huh. I guess. Wait, wait. Give me a sec. Maybe these are just different campaigns. I, I gotta read through it to be able to understand. Okay. But all of these are so high quality. The books, the minis, everything. Aside from the holy um, poster. Okay. And we got the last one. What is the... Oh, okay. This is the... Uh, this is the terrain that we're going to be fighting on. The ground. Ooh. Look at this. Oh, it big? <laughs> well, oh, where do you find... I don't even have a table this big <laughs> to put it on. I'm going to be playing on the... On the floor. Okay. Okay. This is a big one. 
And that's it for the kill team starter pack. Uh, I will need your help definitely in the comments because I'm going to uh, probably this week or at the beginning of next week, I'm going to go to the store to pick up some paint and brushes and tools. So please uh, let me know in the comments what is the starter kit that I need to, 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 to just sit down and start doing this first time from scratch um any tips i know that there are tons of videos out there but you know i would like to have your input as well and i'm very grateful for for the for your time and for your comments thank you all so much uh let me know if you would like to see me paint those uh, because i haven't decided yet whether i'm going to be doing it on stream or i'm going to be shooting a video like this for youtube uh, obviously i'm going to be very very nervous first time um uh, but you know it needs to be done and i would love you to be the witnesses of uh, my first um, painting experience i am very excited i cannot wait to start painting I am more excited about painting uh, than about playing. So, like, let's paint first and then we'll see if I will ever get to playing this. Uh, all right. Uh, last thing, let me roll a dice for good luck to see how all of this is going to turn out, right? What do you think? <laughs> are we going to be the greatest mini painter of all time or are we just gonna be, like, you know, pretty mad and I don't know. I think I'm pretty good with brushes, uh, but it's just like the, the, the minis are so tiny. I have to have a st steady, steady um, hand for that. Okay, let's see. Safe's coming. <laughs> Safe's coming at its finest. I'm sorry. That was a uh, practice, practice roll, okay? Yes! First try! Six! Huh? Huh? Told you, told you, told you! We're go it's gonna be great! <laughs> it's gonna be great! <laughs> okay, everyone, thanks for watching! And thank you again, Datag, for gifting this game to me! And Slavus for the book, going to start reading it tonight! Thank you all so much for watching, and I want to say thank you to all the members who have supported this channel up until now. Second Childhood, Bruno Genius, Nisar, Distinct Butter, John Sanford, Raphael, Mr. Guybrush, Arctic Knight, Leah Westwire, Krivicus, Kevin Cutter, and Chrome Fox. Thank you guys all so much. Bye!